Hey guys, and welcome back to Utility Sports. We do we just want to take an appreciation uh, little video here for Taylor Heineke. This was his second start ever in the NFL. A guy that has battled a lot to get to this point, Taylor Heineke. He was 26 of 44, 352 total yards, two touchdowns. Really gave Washington football team a true chance in this game. Obviously had to do a lot uh, facing the pressure, was able to take off and run, really extended plays. Did a lot for his team in order to give them a chance against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which most people in pretty much 95% to 98% of America would say that there was zero chance that they would probably win this football game with Taylor Heineke as their quarterback. At that point, you have to give him a lot of props. Did a lot of nice things, right? So we saw him drop some dimes, actually, especially the one to Sims in the end zone, an absolute dot. Just phenomenal play by Taylor Heineke all night long. Yeah, definitely. Heineke came in, uh, played his heart out, to be completely honest. Obviously got injured for a brief moment, was able to come back into the game. Uh, you saw a lot of his heart on display. Uh, his diving play in the end zone, he was evading uh, a lot of pressure all night. Todd Bowles, obviously known for sending a lot of blitzes, continued to do so. Heineke read it, uh, adjusted to it, made a, a number of throws on the move, uh, right on the money uh, a lot of the time. And Heineke, uh, those numbers really show how well of a performance he had, but there's also things that if you weren't watching, you just missed with Heineke's performance tonight. He was incredible. Uh, honestly, going into the game, I thought there was almost no way that Washington uh, would move the football because of Tampa Bay's still run defense. They were first in the NFL in run defense this year. Uh, and yet uh, Heineke himself cut, uh, put up 352 total yards, not something I'd expected to be saying by the end of, end of tonight, but man, was he phenomenal for Washington. He probably played himself into a 10 or 12 year career. That's something we, we were talking about during the game, actually, uh, that Heineke, you know, not only is he playing for the Washington football team to try and win this playoff game, but his career is kind of on the line. If he had a down performance, maybe he doesn't have a job after this. He definitely played himself into a longer career. Now teams are going to be interested in bringing him in as a backup. He'll probably stick around in Washington is my assumption. Uh, but ultimately Heineke really balled out uh, his, the offensive coordinator there, Norv Turner's son, also allowed uh, Heineke to run their normal offense. That was a big storyline of that game. And Heineke did just that, played very, very well. Obviously, we kind of kept a close tab on his career uh, from when he was a Minnesota Viking practice squad uh, to when he was in Carolina. So we had kind of been aware of Heineke uh, before tonight. But now Heineke tonight really showed uh, part of his staying power in the NFL, I feel. Yeah, the old Dominion product really proved his worth in today's game. Obviously, Scott Turner did a lot of different things that really played to the strengths of Taylor Heineke. To be quite frank with you, I did not see this performance coming from him, as a lot of people did not remain very composed in this playoff game. He did not look rattled at all during the game. He kept his emotions in check. He was very level-headed, it looked like, during the entire game. And you could see at the end of the game when Heineke was walking out the field, all of his offensive linemen came up to him, you know, tapped him on the helmet, you know, told him really good job because – Quite frankly, you do not get these kind of performances out of a, ba a backup quarterback kind of last minute. At, at, you know, at the, at the very last minute, he was basically told that he was going to be the starter for sure. They were really hoping Alex Smith could have been the starter for this game. Obviously, the calf held him back. And Taylor Heineke, who's 27 years old and is only making his second start, this is kind of the story for him. His whole career, he's been doubted. And honestly, we have to give him a lot of props. And like you had mentioned earlier, uh, if, the, if he had performed poorly, this could have been his last stop. Like you said, I think this does pr it prolong his career as a whole. I think he finds himself as a long-term backup, whether it's in Washington or another team. This is basically a showcase game for all the other teams to say, hey, I'm a viable quarterback. I could step in. No moment is too big for me because a lot of backup quarterbacks do not get this kind of experience against this type of a defense on this stage, right? So... They get the primetime game tonight, and they, I mean, Heineke was phenomenal, and I think he definitely has played himself into another contract. There's going to be a lot of teams interested to, to get a guy that, you know, is somewhat mobile and, you know, pretty, pretty accurate as a whole. Obviously, his very first start in Carolina did not go well, but for, for some reason, things just clicked tonight, and I think this is going to kind of look like Chase Daniel, where, you know, people just trust him to come in these kind of games, and obviously, Chase Daniel has played himself into a lot of bigger contracts. Uh, it's very possible that Heineke has that same career projection. Yeah, that's kind of what I see as well. And the biggest thing about Heineke is as a backup QB, 
you know, maybe coming into this week, he wasn't expecting to find himself as the starter. Uh, the Alex Smith news obviously uh, put him in a position where he was going to be the starter. He came in, he was prepared, ready to take on that challenge, performed very well, and honestly got them within a score of Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the heavy favorites in that game. Heineke has to be very proud of his performance. I think several GMs and executives are going to take notice of that. He's going to have staying power in the NFL now. And Taylor Heineke uh, had maybe what is going to be a career day for him, obviously in a loss, but while he kept Washington in that game. Washington gave up 28 or 31 points that game, rather. I, and going into that, if that would have been the number, I would have thought there's no way Washington's going to be within a score of them with, with the, with the news that Taylor Heineke was going to be the starter. Obviously that's how it played out really close down the stretch there too, with that throw to Logan Thomas, uh, just didn't get it completed. Logan Thomas was in traffic. That's a tough play for him. Uh, but nonetheless, Heineke balled out a uh, wonderful performance from him showed real guts there for the Washington football team. And uh, I think that he's got a career ahead of him in the NFL. Yeah, absolutely. And the last thing I would like to end on here to some concluding notes is we look at quarterbacks that are, you know, told, in the wild card game that they're going to start. We've seen performances like Joe Webb's brutal performance against Green Bay, absolutely terrible. TJ Yates has been told to start in some games, has not played well in those kind of games. Some of those players just aren't ready for the moment. I didn't think Taylor Heineke was going to be, showed a lot of poise in this game, definitely proved everyone wrong that was watching the game. And I think now he's created a few more fans, not only you know, NFL fans that are viewers, but, you know, people around the league, I think a lot of respect has gone to Taylor Heineke after tonight's performance. Yeah, most definitely. That is going to conclude our video. Thank you so much for tuning in. We just thought we would show a little bit of respect to Taylor Heineke and his game, and we can't wait to see you guys in the next video.